This is Zeb again. I have another draft deck video for y'all. And uh, I'm going to go over each of the cards and spells and stuff. So I have from a one drop, I have a Lagonda Ben Trailblazer. I mean, it has the heroic trigger when it's targeted. Uh, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, then from three drops, I had a Cavalry Pegasus, a Leaf Crown Dryad, and a Traveling Philosopher. Then for my three drops, I had Agent Horizons, Eagle of the Watch, and an Observant Alcyid. Then for my four drops, I had Paris Band War Chief, the Storm Strom, Swarm, Swarm Brawn Giant, and the Ravenous Lyrical Thingy, the Vigilant Monstrous Dude. And then for my fire drops, which is pretty much like really, really sweet. I have supply line cranes, Nessian apps, Nessian game warden, and ornithark. And pretty much once you get the five, they pretty much have to have answers because any of these five drops puts not only more threats or presents you more threats, but it's just insane. Um, Nessian game warden, I think, is like the MVP of tonight. I, there's so many times where I played him with at least three or four forest out and I was able to get another creature This card I think is like my favorite card of the set especially in decks like this um, So let me go over My non-creature spells I have a Traveler's Amulet. Um, the reason why I'm playing it because I did splash an island um, I splashed the island for uh, Agent of Horizons, because you needed the island to activate the ability, and for as far as enlightenment, which I'll get to later. Um, they have a Nature's Penopy, which it has the strive cost, and you put a number of plus one, plus one counters on each creature that's been targeted. Then I have a Mortal, Mortal, ah, a Mortal's Adorn, which is the plus one, plus one lifelink. Then the Impressive Rays, which is another all-star um, in this deck. I have a Battlewise Violer, which is a two-drop uh, instant, well, you get the plus two, plus two, and scry. Then I have a reap what is sown, which it puts plus one, plus one counters and up to three creatures. And then I have far as enlightenment, which puts a plus one, plus one counter and gives a creature flying. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield, I may return it to my hand. Then I have excoriate, which exiles a tap creature, and then a foil divine verdict, which destroys a blocking or attacking creature. And then my other rare I picked up was a Hunter's Prowless, which gets creature gets plus three, plus three. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. I actually use this to take out an Ninjani um, in round four with uh, the Eagle of the Watch because he didn't have any flyers. So I was able to draw five cards and then kill a Johnny when he was played on turn five and it was awesome um, I also got a temple of plenty so I did tr play 17 lands um, with the amulet uh, the reason why I play 17 lands is because this deck as you can see the top end even though it is four cards the top end is very very it's imperative to get to turn five um, with five mana or at least turn six maybe um, and luckily the matches I played tonight, there weren't really a lot of aggression. Um, a lot of stall in this deck, it seems a little bit more on the mid range in, especially when I get towards D5 drops and play like Nessian, Game Warden, or Ornithark, and then oh, let me get some birds or get some counters. And all in all, man, this deck actually was probably on paper. It does not look like the best deck ever um, because I did have a couple of heroic enablers. Quite a few, actually. I have one, two, three, four, five, six heroic enablers and then two uh, enchantments that have a bestow. And then really the only thing I had that actually triggered heroic was the look on the bell and trailblazer. Um, other than that, lots of few monstrous creatures and just uh, vigilance as well. Lots of vigilance. Um, so with this guy out, um, this guy gets vigilance over here, and then uh, Eagle of the Watch has vigilance. Observant Alcyid has vigilance. 
Um, and then the, look, this guy has vigilance as well. And then of course, when I bestow on one of these five drops, they also have vigilance. And all in all, this deck, I played this deck a lot better than <laughs> than I'm supposed to. Which is kind of weird, but I actually ended up going 5-0, and going 2-0 in all my matches. So this deck actually made me go undefeated. And quite frankly, this deck is not good on paper. I keep saying that because it really isn't. I'm splashing blue for the Enlightenment and the Agent's ability. Um, I mean, I got some removal. It's really dependent on me to at least get the 5 mana um, in every match in order for me to actually stand a chance. And... And luckily, I played to the best of my ability, and they got me there, so it's kind of awesome. Um, I actually played the Temple of Plenty, one island, and I played a split of of seven. Oh, no, I actually played 18, uh, 16 lands, I'm sorry, with the amulet. So I had, so I think seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so seven playing seven islands. So that's 14, then 16, then 14, 15, the island, then the temple, and then the Traveler's Emily. So I ran 16 lands, splashing the blue, and then um, the temp and playing the temple on colored scry lands are awesome. <laughs> it did help me scry quite a bit. Other than that, man, this deck is really, really good. Um, it's not the best deck I've ever drafted, but this is the most winning in this deck. I mean, 5 and 0. Oh, you can't really complain and plus this deck um does have a bun it's pretty balanced i would also say mainly because i have options i don't have to turn play anything turn three um you know i can keep um verdict up if you know there's someone aggressive um i don't really have to have a turn one or a two to turn two play but if i do that's great and then um yeah just wait stall get the five and beat face once i get the five so, um other than that um this deck went hard um someone up in the johnny um my last round opponent actually had a storm breath dragon uh which was able to play in game two but wasn't enough and that's pretty much it um this deck was great uh, i i keep saying like this deck was great as far as how it worked, but quite frankly, this deck is not the best I ever drafted. I keep saying that because I'm very surprised I actually went five and zero with this deck. So it's, it's shock, actually. All right. Um, well, I'm going to go home and wait for the results to finish up, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.